What's up guys, Shane Starts here with Droid Monterey Have you ever accidentally deleted a text message or a contact number or even a photo that you really wish that you could get back? Now you can, thanks to Phone Rescue. Big shout outs to Phone Rescue for sponsoring this video. This is simply a software that allows you to recover lost data on just about any Android phone. I'll include a link in the description for the download to the software and also a list of compatible devices. This is the Galaxy S8. Now before we get started, it should be noted that your device needs to be rooted in order to take full advantage of this software. Without root, this software works perfectly as a transfer device. So you can transfer any uh, non-deleted items from your phone to your computer. In order for it to truly work and recover lost data, you will need to be rooted. So to get started, you'll go into your settings, go down to security, go down to unknown sources, go ahead and check that. Once unknown sources has been checked, you'll go into your settings once again, go down to about phone, go to the build number, click on the build number eight times until developer mode has been enabled. Go back to developer options and then scroll down to USB debugging and go ahead and turn that on. All right, the next thing you'll do is go ahead and open up Phone Rescue on your computer. This is the Samsung exclusive version. So upon launching the application, it's gonna give you some quick tips, turn your device to airplane mode, don't use contacts, messages, calendar, or any other app while you're using this application. In fact, it's a good idea just to go ahead and close all apps, turn off your mobile transfer and manage software. So if you have any other mobile transfer or uh, data management software on your phone, go ahead and turn those off so that they don't conflict with phone rescue. And then it says avoid using uh, system cleaning software. So if you want to be able to restore data in the future, don't clear your cache and do those other things or else it may not be able to grab those files if they are deleted permanently off your device. This is make sure your Android system allows Phone Rescue app to be installed and accessed. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and click getting started and then we will plug in our phone. All right, so once your phone is plugged in for the first time, it will go ahead and automatically install Phone Rescue. And then once it's installed, it's going to ask you for permissions. Go ahead and accept those five permissions. And then once you've done all that, you'll see connection completed. On this screen, you can see everything that you're able to restore using the software. You can restore contacts, music, call logs, videos, messages, app documents, calendar, WhatsApp, photos in line. This one seems important here because you're able to actually restore any app data that you may have deleted. So that's a nice feature there. For this demonstration, we're going to select call logs only and we'll click next. That's gonna go ahead and analyze your device for lost files. Now you'll see here that it's able to do a deep scan as long as you're rooted and this will root your phone if it is able to be rooted. So I've got the Galaxy S8 on Verizon. It is not able to be rooted, but if I had another phone, like say a Nexus or a Pixel device, I could select deep scan, and then that would go ahead and root your phone. See here, it says that it's unable to root my device, uh, but you could try Kingo Root or iRoot. I already know that neither of these will work on my particular phone. So what I'll do is I'll go for the quick scan. All right, and here are all of my calls that I've received. It shows 419 calls on this device. It even tells you whether you called or they called you, the date and the duration. You'll see right over here, there is even an option to download. So if you needed to download your call log, you could download that to your PC. And then we'll go back to the home and we'll go ahead and try out We'll try out photos. Once again, I'm going to do the quick scan because my device isn't rooted. If your device is rooted, the deep scan allows you to gather anything that's been deleted. So if you deleted any photos, as long as you've not used uh, cache or memory cleaning software, it would be able to pick up those lost and deleted photos. So here I can select uh, the photos that I would like to download to my PC and then you would just select the download button. You can also choose where you would like to export the photos here as well. So as you can see, Phone Rescue is a quick and simple method for recovering lost data on your cell phone. It works for just about every Android device. That about wraps it up for my quick review of Phone Rescue for Samsung in this case. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.